Hey, good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning here on the property. I figure we're gonna take a walk of our property here. There's lots I haven't seen. So, we take, we take you guys along for the walk. So, a lot of people wanna know how much land we have and how much it cost us. So, we're gonna do a video on it. So, what is it? This, this little mango tree right here? This little mango tree right here is a corner marker. And this big tree here is a marker and it goes down to this tree, down to that dead tree right there. It goes all the way across two cricks and then it stops at the second crick and then it goes up the hill and over. Like I said, I haven't explored all of it, so we're gonna take a look at it today. So let's go for a walk. A big shout out to Aussie farming in the Philippines. Uh, we didn't know how we, how we got so many subscribers on one video. And here he did a video telling his, his subscribers to subscribe to our channel. So we got like 68 subscribers in one video, put us over a thousand. Thanks Will and Chick and thanks all of the uh, Aussie farming in the Philippines supporters. Welcome to our channel. I hope you like our content. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Where's my hat? Okay, so this here's this here's a yeah. Yeah. So that God bless my father in law. Seventy five. He dug up thirty five banana plants. Carried them over here and planted them for us. So we got 35 banana plants on the property now. We didn't have any before. Thanks to my Tatai. Hey, happy Father's Day to all you guys watching. So this is gonna be a steep climb here. And my chickens are doing real good. Gonna have to build more facilities for them soon. Another banana. Another banana. <clears throat> All right. Up the mountain we go. Coming? Be doing some huffing and puffing <laughs> during this video. As you can see, how far we've climbed up, and there's the house that shows you how steep of a hill this is. Look at all these mangoes. It's a shame all these mangoes are gonna go to waste, but with the bill, we don't have time to harvest them. See, these are all mangoes up through here. All mangoes up there, down there. Whew. These mangoes on the ground. So this is 20, 26,000 square meters and some change. It's like uh, 
I converted it to acres. It's uh, 6.45 acres, which I didn't think it was that big when we bought it. Where's our property stuff? Probably right about here. Yeah, just here. So this is the other corner of our property. So now we go uh, west. Oh, oh, there's pineapple here. Oh, here's one right here. It fell off. All right, so this is a pineapple. I don't know, the camera shut off. I must have hit something. So west is our property. I guess it's like right on the other side of this pile of coconuts. The landmarkers here are uh, this tree, that rock kind of deal. Um, we still haven't got a survey done. They're supposed to do a barangay survey here on this land. But every time they get together, there's somebody that didn't make the meeting. Let me go over here and give you a view of all these mango trees. I counted one time, it's, it's uh, over 60. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's just tons of them. All down the mountain here. These are all mangoes. Huh? These? Oh, going up. Yeah. How many coconut trees are on this property? This coconut here, it's another property marker. Yeah, then it goes down, right? Yeah. Jeez, let's look at that, look at that view. Look at the clouds. Amazing up here. I think, of, do we go down here or is it, it goes this way? Oh, wow. So, geez, see these? That's all bamboo. That's all ours. See, I've never been down this way. There's actually, or used to be a road here. The Barangay captain said that he'd open it back up for us if we wanted, but I'm not sure. So that big mango there is ours too? Yeah. Big mango tree. Ooh. The property line is so we do have bananas. There's bananas right there. Yeah, that's right. We got some bananas right there. The creek. Yeah, the creek. To the creek is our property. That's like the property border, the creek. Then it goes all the way down, all the way down past that power line to the to the creek. Look at that view. Wow. We bought this while we were still in. Yeah, we bought this while we were still in the US. Um the cousins, cousins of the family. Auntie. So we bought this for 150,000 peso. What was it, about five years ago? 
four years ago, four or five years ago. So that's like 26, 2700 bucks. Yeah, there are some bananas down there. I wonder if there's any bananas on them. Has anybody been getting them? Probably. Like Talio? Yeah. Yeah. This down here, I was looking at fencing all this in and making another chicken range down here and it'd be nice and shady for the chickens. Nice, nice big range for them. So yeah, 20, 2,600, 2,700 bucks we paid for 6.45 hectares. Pretty good deal to me. Yeah, I, I've seen this here. I am think I'm going to clear this whole hillside out and this will be a uh, good place to start some gardening plant some plant some okra eggplant string beans tomatoes see what does good string beans here grow like you wouldn't believe i think my father-in-law planted some and they were harvesting in less than a month so yeah, we could clear all this out. This would be really good farmland right here. Hopefully. I mean, the soil is probably not that good, but you're gonna fertilize anyways. That's probably, that's probably a hundred yards right there to the coconut tree. We had a big garden, plenty of sunlight. It's not too steep. Guava tree? We have lots of guava, I guess. Yeah, this is one too. There's a bunch over there. Yeah. So this would be a great place for garden, babe. Yeah. Got some rocks sticking up. I don't know how rocky it is underneath here, but. So this creek here, all run along here, is our border line, our property line. That looks like the Golden Cove coconuts. Down there, yeah, we're going headed down to the road to get into our property. Huh? Yeah. Well, there's a lot. It's another spot we could grow some crops. That's ours. Yeah, and all that down below the road is ours, too, to where I showed you the first boundary lines where are the trees <clears throat> goes into a creek down there I don't know so yeah that's our end of our yeah there's a let me get down here without falling So there's the bridge they built when we first came over. So that's our property line. That creek runs down there. So we got a lot of property down here behind these bushes. <clears throat> now I really like to have a big pond here, but this is so steep. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. We could we could clear all this out and have more crops here. Fruit trees, 
Because what we have is, well, we have guava, mango. What's that one fruit? Dahut? Do hot. Do hot fruits, coconuts. Yeah, it's like a blueberry mixed with a plum. They're pretty good. See, you can see the house from here. Give you a perspective of where we're at. So unfortunately, the road to get to the other two houses down here goes right through our property, but I don't really care. I kind of feel bad for my neighbors over here, Talio and his kids, because they really wanted this piece of land. I mean, they lived there their whole life, but they couldn't come up with the money. So I can just imagine, you know, if you had property, you lived on your whole life, and then... Yeah. Then you got an American moving in right next door to you. They still bring their cows over here, and their goats are all over the place, and they got a water buffalo that roams around here. So this is all ours down here. This is where they've been, they were getting the bamboo for the supports when they poured the roof. And all that up there, just more mango trees. So next week, my wife is gonna start building her pig pens. See, so there's the property line again. That tree there is straight across. So we're gonna make pig pens down through here. Probably down in this little flat here. They can have the PVC pipes for the animal waste go way down into the creek. Whew, is it hot? One thing you got to have when you're walking around in the Philippines is your sweat rag. Priority. So, yeah, this is pretty steep. I went down there before. It's, it's not a running water creek, but it is a is a creek down there when it's rainy season. Hoping to do a tilapia pond here. Nice long narrow tilapia pond. In time. See there's a cow right here. They just tie him up. Right on my property. I don't I don't care. Like I said, I'm sure that uh, things are just different here in the province. Everybody kind of is together as a family here, you know. So everybody borrows one another's stuff. I mean, they, these neighbors have helped me out dramatically. Talio, if he hadn't had this water line, just running on that tree right there. We wouldn't have got half the stuff done we've gotten done so far. All right, guys, so you wanted to know how big the property was and how much we paid. It's uh, 6.45 hectares, and we paid, I don't know, the conversion. That's 2,600, 2,700 bucks. So anything else? Okay. All right, guys, we're headed to Manila tomorrow. So we just want to put out a little bit of content for you guys to watch until we get back. Like I said, the wife's going to be starting on her pig pens. Thanks again to the Aussie Farming in the Philippines subscribers that have joined us. And we will see you Wednesday, guys, unless I make a video about our anniversary. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Later.